Hello everyone and welcome on De Papier de Rêve channel. I'm Ursula and today I will be painting with you some sizzle and daisies. At the moment I cannot uh, have inspiration from where I live. Uh, I live in Barcelona as you know and uh, things are uh, quite uh, difficult uh, at the moment because all the gardens are closed and uh, we just uh, can uh, move freely uh, since uh, this week. So um, I cannot find my inspiration where I am. Uh, but thankfully, uh, my mom has a really pretty garden and uh, she has some uh, sizzle and daisies uh, in her garden that are in full bloom right now. And uh, that's my inspiration for today. I'm starting uh, this painting by uh, painting the, the daisies uh, in white with white gouache uh, in the background uh, so that I can uh, protect them uh, from all the colors I'm going to put in uh, the layer after uh, this gouache layer. And I'm using this uh, white gouache technique as a masking technique. Uh, I'm using uh, the white gouache to mark the, the area that I want to stay white. Uh, I will put a lot of color on top of it and once uh, the, the layer of gouache is dried and then I will remove uh, the white gouache from my paper. Uh, and you, know, you will see uh, how I do that a bit later and uh, my, the white of the paper will uh, be back and uh, the daisy will be just uh, really uh, nicely uh, lining uh, on my paper. This masking technique is a technique that I like uh, really uh, a lot. Uh, I prefer a white gouache masking technique against a, a liquid masking technique just because uh, the white gouache uh, allows me to be a little bit more free uh, in uh, my brushwork uh, with uh, the masking uh, fluid. Uh, and uh, it's, uh, it's looking a little bit more natural at the end uh, when I remove the gouache. And now I'm just adding a, a lot of acrylic ink uh, in, uh, in the color indigo uh, with a, a granulating medium so that there is a lot of texture on my paper and uh, this is just what I want for my background. A lot of texture, a lot of things happening uh, so that uh, all my picture is interesting. And once this layer of watercolor and ink, acrylic ink, is totally dry, I can remove uh, the gouache just by putting my paper under the, the water and on the sink. Uh, it's not uh, dangerous to do that just because uh, watercolor and acrylic ink is quite resilient uh, to water and uh, just the gouache will go away uh, quite easily, uh, in fact. Uh, so it's a, a really nice uh, masking technique to use uh, and it's, uh, the, the look after that is really natural. So I'm just rubbing uh, my finger delicately uh, where the gouache is and uh, it dissolves uh, just in seconds uh, and uh, the white of the paper is back. And I will let uh, this uh, dry once again and we will talk you through my supplies. For the brushes I'm using an Escoda Ultimo 1 inch and an Escoda Ultimo number no. 8 uh, Rigger and a Rosemary Co C39 half an inch in a dagger shape. For the colors I'm using Ultramarine Blue, Amazonite Genuine, Nickel as a Yellow, Aussie Red Gold, Lunar Blue, and lavender. I'm also using uh, an acrylic ink from Golden in the color indigo and a granulating medium from Windsor & Newton. And my paper today is from Archies in Hot Pressed. So right now I'm halfway through uh, my uh, process uh, for this uh, sizzle painting and you are not able to see the sizzle for now. I'm just adding them uh, to uh, this uh, uh, background layer. Uh, you can just see all my daisies that are there. The background is really interesting with a lot of granulation uh, so that now I can uh, just focus uh, on painting the sizzles. 
and for painting uh, this uh, kind of uh, flower I'm using a, a really particular brush uh, that is a, a dagger shape brush uh, it's a, a brush with really long hair uh, in a triangular shape uh, so that there is a really really fine tips to this brush but also uh, um, the hair are really um, flimsy <laughs> and I can do a lot of random marks with this brush and that's just what I want for the sizzle to be a little bit more natural and uh, with a lot of energy. In fact, I paint them uh, quite in uh, calligraphic styles uh, with just the point of the brush uh, and that's it. For this particular painting, I wanted to have a really uh, calming atmosphere and I achieved that uh, with the, the colors I'm, I have chose, chosen for this uh, painting. I'm using mostly ultramarine blue and Amazonite genuine for all the greens uh, uh, in this painting and sometimes I add a little bit of Nicalazzo yellow uh, to uh, brighten a little bit uh, the greens but I just want to have a really rich uh, camaille of colors in this uh, painting so that you can feel uh, the feeling of a really a calm, uh, a really peaceful painting. As I'm painting blue sizzle in uh, this uh, image, uh, I just wanted to add a little bit more blue uh, to, to the flower of sizzle. Uh, and for that, I'm using uh, lavender, that is an opaque color, uh, so that it will uh, be a little bit more strong against all the, the darker color I've put already on the, this flower. And this opaque color will uh, allows me to have a little bit more volume uh, in this flower and have this uh, tint of blue uh, in, uh, in the flower that will uh, make you think about blue thistle. As you may know, maybe, uh, I do like a lot to have a contrast between cool and warm color in a painting. I think it brings uh, the cool color a little bit more cooler and the warm color a little bit more warmer. So I achieved that in this painting by having a, a really light wash of nickel as a yellow on the top left corner. Uh, so this uh, area of the painting is a little bit warmer against all the cooler colors uh, in the rest of the page. And I also like to have a strong contrast between light colors and dark colors. And that's why I've added a lot of uh, darker color uh, around the, uh, all the daisies flower so that they will pop a little bit more because they are white. Uh, and uh, if I uh, paint darker color around them with negative uh, painting technique, uh, they will appear uh, even brighter and whiter. And for the last layer of details, I will add a little bit more darker color to the sizzle flower so that uh, they appear a little bit more in volume and with uh, more shadow uh, area in them. And I will also add the heart of uh, the daisies uh, with uh, some uh, yellow uh, tint, uh, yellow color to them. Uh, and this will add also uh, in my contrast of warm and cool colors. Uh, there will be warm color just in the earth of the daisies and in my uh, top left corner uh, and all the rest of my color are really cool and uh, that's uh, build this feeling of peacefulness uh, in this painting. And maybe this uh, painting is a little bit more abstract uh, from the last one I've painting uh, on this uh, channel um, but I, I I really uh, wanted to uh, just focus myself on feelings and uh, filling my paper with uh, really a, a peaceful uh, painting and uh, just uh, enjoy the, the, this moment of painting and I hope you can see it also. And this video is now ending. Thanks for watching and I hope you like it. Please check the blog post for more information about this painting and tell me what you think in the comments. See you soon.